guys. So it is Tuesday, February 19th, about 7.30 in the morning, and I have made it to my 39-week appointment. Um, I'll be 39 weeks tomorrow, so um, yeah, I'm hoping there's some progress. Um, this past week, I have felt a lot, and I mean a lot, of like cramping and more tightening so it came to a point to where I have thought that I was like in the stages of early labor but apparently not because I'll go to bed and I'll wake up and I'll be fine so <laughs> um, yeah this is <sighs> getting more frustrating um, because I just I just want to hold her like I'm not trying to be impatient but like I really just want her here and uh, my last appointment gave me like a little sliver of hope when she was like any day now I'm like a week later still no baby but um, I mean technically I'm not 40 weeks yet and I know she is she'll be fine if she was born right now but like they do develop a lot like a big portion of their brain is developed in the last few weeks so it there isn't anything wrong with her staying in there it's just for my sanity I just I I don't know like it's so pregnancy is so scary especially if you've experienced a loss like if they don't kick for like an hour you start freaking out I've um, the past like couple of days I've been pretty good with like calming myself down in that kind of situation um, and she has been pretty active but I don't know I just want her here Today is going to be my first day with the new doctor, so I'm nervous about that, but I hear she's really nice. I will probably ask her about induction because my next week appointment, I'll be 40 weeks. So, I mean, I don't want to go far over, so I'm going to ask her, like, when do we start talking about being induced? I don't, of course, I don't want to be induced because, like, you have a higher chance of obviously like you know getting a c-section that way because your body isn't technically ready but um i mean it happens all the time women get induced all the time have natural labors everything's fine so as long as everything's going okay with baby and she's okay and i'm okay then i'm not opposed to being induced and it would be really really cool if i can be induced like the 21st at night or the 22nd early in the morning because I would love for her birthday to be 222. Um, my husband and I are really weird with uh, numbers and 222 has been a number that he, him and his sister and it's all good luck to them, the 222 number. And um, ever since I've met him, we've had a lot of 222 situations as well. And um, and with this pregnancy, like everywhere we look, it's 222. And it's not something like we look for it so we see it. It's not like that. Like we see a bunch of different numbers. As long as like the numbers are in sequence by threes, like 444, four, four, 777, seven, seven, like that's a good sign. But 222 two, two is like the main like good luck one to my husband and to me with this baby. So if she was born on 222, two, two, like that would be crazy. It would be so crazy. Um, I would also love if she could be born today because today is her grandpa James birthday and that's who she's named after her name is Avery James and so um, He passed away. He's my husband's grandpa and today is his birthday So that would be kind of special, but uh, from the looks of it. She ain't coming out today. <laughs> so Yeah, I'm gonna get, get Going because we all know how long it takes for me to get there and I will update you maybe when I get there or just when I leave the appointment because I pretty much have said everything and I, you've seen the inside of the lobby so I will update you when I do. Such a pretty doctor's office. Waiting for this new doctor. Nervous. Ciara? Yeah. Hello there, I'm Dr. Nguyen. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Um, I'll be seeing you for the next two visits, so yeah. I know that you saw Dr. Patton before. Mm -hmm. um, I think
choose like unavailable those certain dates. But, yeah. Um, but we know everything about your history. We have everything on the chart. You're 38 weeks and six days. Practically 39 tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a listen to the baby's heart rate. Do a quick measurement here. And then I saw that Dr. Patton checked you before and you were about one centimeter. Um, do you want another? And we'll do another exam today if that's okay. Sure. Okay. We'll listen to the baby's heart rate here. As far as things to help, baby's heart rate sounds good. One thirty. There's a lot of like static there. Since you're um, practically 39 weeks, um, mm -hmm. we can uh, check your cervix and then do something called a membrane sweeping. Have you heard of that before? I've heard of it, but I don't know oh, okay. what exactly it is. Um, so basically, we only do the exam. We go, we check the cervix, we see how dilated it is, and then we can massage the top part of the cervix and kind of separate some of the. Um, the membranes that is in that area, mm -hmm. kind of like just filming stuff, and that basically um, helps the body uh, uh, release natural hormones to get your body to go into labor more naturally, so that way you don't have to get an inhibitor induction. It works half the time, it's like 50 50. So, some people will feel contractions right away, um, and then, or within the next 24 48 hours, and then go into labor. Okay. And then the other half of the time, it doesn't work. So, <laughs> we'll go ahead and check and see how dilated you are when we do the sweeping, okay? okay? You let me know if you get a lot of pain or discomfort, stop at any time. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's still posterior. What does that mean? It's like kind of far back, so you're not quite in labor yet. Um, oh, but you're at least two centimeters, so that's good. That's good. We could really stretch your cervix to three if we really tried, but we'll call you two. <laughs> and the baby's head is there. Is it a face at all or no? Yeah, it's a face. It's at least, uh, I would say 75% a face. So we call you two, 75 and minus three, and you're doing a great job here. I'm just giving you, a, so the sweeping, I want to do a good job so that way if it gives you a chance, it gives you a real chance. Okay. <laughs> You're not in labor by the next two days. I'll see you next week. Okay. 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 We'll talk about induction by then. Any other questions? No. All right. Well, it's good meeting you. It was really okay. good meeting you. Yes. Thank you so here. much. Not at all. Let us know if you have any questions. You can change and just check out with Michelle. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, so I just got out of my doctor's appointment. I had to throw my hair up because I was looking like a hot mess. Um, but as you can see from the video that I sneakily took, I am two centimeters dilated, 75% faced. She did say that my cervix is still a little high, but if I'm bound to go into labor, it'll be fine. My cervix will drop more. Um, she did, uh, I don't know how well you heard or whatever, but she did strip my membranes, um, which was interesting, I guess. So I don't know if that means, she said the, the membranes go farther than the mucus plug, so I'm not sure if that meant that she actually took out my mucus plug, but um, she said it works 50% of the time, so fingers crossed I can go into labor within the next few days, and um, if not, then if I make it to my next appointment, we will be talking about getting induced. I feel like I'm gonna make it to my next appointment because I feel like my little girl is nice and cozy in there and she's like, nope, I ain't going out into the world. Mm -mm, not happening. I would be explaining much more, but since I took that video and you kind of heard everything in the room, I don't feel the need to explain and keep this vlog going like 20 minutes. But um, I will say I absolutely loved that doctor, like absolutely loved her. I mean, I love my doctor already, but like, I would totally have this doctor. She just made me feel so comfortable. I don't know if it was because she was young, but like she was just so incredibly sweet. I've said previously in a video about Kaiser doctors, how Kaiser is such a huge company and they have so many like patients that they kind of lose that personal touch with a lot of patients because they see so many all day, every day, you know? So that's why I was afraid of getting another doctor because I liked how personal my doctor was. And this doctor was just as personal if not more like I could see concern in her eyes when I was concerned with things I just I really felt comfortable and I'm really glad that I that I got to have her and um you know wouldn't it be lucky if she delivers my baby too it's so weird I to like one visit 10 minutes and I I already love that doctor it's so weird but um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple of errands not really um 
once I can take you on I'm just running in and out but if there's anything else to update on this video or videotape I definitely will I should start calling this video Honda vlogs since I am always in my car but yeah another exciting thing I'm not sure if this is gonna happen but my husband watches my vlogs and he's decided or he's on the fence about possibly vlogging his his daily whereabouts so I'm excited for that and if he does do that I will definitely give you guys his channel because I'm pretty sure he could be quite entertaining um <laughs> he was just like I just don't know what I would talk about and I was like just talk just talk about your day you know talk about how people piss you off on the road I don't know talk about something and I was like you get the hang of it because really it's really awkward at first but then you get the hang of it so I will keep you guys posted about that and um, either I will talk to you in a little bit or I'll see you in my next vlog.